Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to change your oil on your KTM Duke 390 or RC390. It's super simple, so let's get right into it. So what do you need for the oil change? Well, you're gonna need, obviously, the oil change kit from KTM or Husqvarna. Uh, it brings 20 liters of oil. You will only need 1.6 liters of oil. And it also brings this box with the oil screen, the strainer, and the new bits and pieces that you need, like the oil drain plug and the oil filter and everything. So you're gonna need the kit. And then as for tools, you're gonna need a 19 millimeter socket for the drain plug, a 13 millimeter socket for the strainer, I believe, 10 millimeter socket to remove your belly pan and some other parts, and an eight millimeter socket to remove the oil filter housing, a four millimeter Allen to remove the belly pan as well. This might, you might not need, but since I have the RC390 belly pan on, I need this. So you might not, but I think you might. Uh, it's the same thing for the RC390 and the Duke 390. And a pick, obviously not necessary, but optional, and I really do find it very useful. So let's start out with removing the belly pan. It's secured by four bolts. There are two four millimeter Allen bolts, so go ahead and get your four millimeter Allen, and 10 millimeter, two 10 millimeter nuts right here. Sorry, bolts right here right there so remove these two here and these two in the front I do have an RC 390 belly pan um, I've retrofitted but it's the exact same thing for the factory Duke belly pan so if you have an RC 390 it's exactly like this if you have a Duke it's the same area same bolts and everything so go ahead and remove these All right, belly pan is off, let's put that aside. Now a little trick I like to do before we start the oil removal process is to warm up the bike just a little bit to get the oil a little warm and much more liquid so that it flows out a lot easier. So let's warm it up just for a little bit. All right, the bike is just a little bit warm now so we can begin the actual oil process removal. So go ahead and grab your oil catch, pan, can, whatever you'd like to call it, and set it up underneath the bike. If yours has uh, an air release for the air pressure, go ahead and open it up. And I'd advise you use gloves at this stage because already my hands are pretty dirty and oily. So let me grab a pair of gloves. Before we begin as well, make sure to open up this where you insert the new oil, where you put in the new oil, so that it doesn't create a vacuum um, when you, you drain the oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up so that when I drain the oil, it flows out freely. The bike is warm. We can now begin removing the oil from the engine. So let me feel it. Yeah, it's a little bit warm. That's great, just what we wanted. So simple, very simple. Grab a 18 millimeter, an 18 millimeter socket, put on whatever wrench you like, and the oil drain plug is right here. There's your oil drain plug. It's on the left side of the bike. So all you're gonna do, obviously, is open it up and let the oil flow out. It's a very straightforward process, it's very simple. I'm going to go ahead and remove this 18 millimeter drain plug, let the oil drain out, and let's go from there. I'm gonna grab this extension. Now, I have enough leverage to begin. Ooh. Well, I actually didn't have enough leverage with this one, so I grabbed my bigger wrench. So now I should have enough leverage to get this thing right off. There we go. Oh, look at that. Really dark oil, really dark oil. The oil screen is right there. So when you buy the kit, the kit should bring a brand new oil screen that you can put in right there. So let's go ahead and take out the oil screen as well. Yeah, this is why I advise you wear gloves. Let's let that drip out a little bit. All 
All right, so it seems that the oil is finished draining out of here. So what I'm gonna do is, since my bike is on the center stand, I've put it on the on the rear center stand. I'm going to put this. I'm gonna put the drain plug back on, and I'm gonna move over to the other side. The oil strainer. For this, we're gonna get a 13 millimeter socket. Go ahead and remove it, obviously with your oil catch underneath. I'm just gonna use my hands without a glove. I'll probably regret it, but it's whatever. Okay, there we go, and there. Not that bad. So the strainer's in there. I'm gonna have to remove the strainer. So I didn't manage to get it on film, but all I did was I put the drain plug back in all the way, and then I assume it grabbed on here, and then I pulled it back out super slowly, twisting very slowly, and it did successfully bring it out. So now we have that out. Here's the box, let's open it up. The strainer, okay, let's take a look at how this is. We can put in the new strainer, and you can definitely see a difference in color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put in the new strainer. And it already has the O-rings, so there's no need to worry about that. This probably has some tour figure, but I just, I'm just gonna freehand it. Seems about right. So we have that done. We have this side done. Let's move over to the right-hand side and remove the oil filter. Removing the oil filter, super easy. Eight millimeter socket, put it on whatever wrench you want and go ahead and remove these two eight millimeter bolts. ahead and remove this. You can go ahead and clean this. I'm definitely going to clean this. This is disgustingly dirty. Removing the oil filter, you will need to use a little pick. So let me go grab my pick. I like to use this pick. It's a very weird bending pick. It's a very weird bend pick, but I like to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the oil filter out. I finally got the oil filter out. Like I said, I had to use this pick and it was a pain to get out, I'll be honest. It took me longer than I'd like to admit, but finally it's out. Look at that. Dirty, dirty. So I'm gonna leave that here along with the oil screen. So yeah, I'm gonna let this drip for however long it needs to. Maybe tilt the bike and get it out and then we'll put in the new oil filter and the new O-ring and we'll finish up on this side. In the box that I showed you earlier, with everything that came with the oil kit. We're gonna open it up and we're going to find a lot of stuff. We've already installed our oil strainer so we can put the box aside. Go ahead and grab this white box and this O-ring right here. This is for the O-ring that goes on the cap right there. So we're gonna take off the old ring and put this new O-ring on, lubricating it with oil before we put it on so that it doesn't stretch or break it or anything. Just some tips. Let's put that in the box for now. And let's grab our oil filter. Brand new oil filter. Here we go. We're gonna put this end in with the rubber. And what I like to do, like I said, is always to put a little bit of oil on any rubber sealants or anything like O-rings in this. So I'm gonna grab a bit of oil and put it on the rubber so it doesn't crack or anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in. Make sure you put, push it in until you hear a click. There we go, it's in. Now let's get the oil filter cap. I'm going to use a pick to remove the old O-ring. There we go, old O-ring is off. Grab your new O-ring, again, a bit of oil. Put it on the O-ring. You don't need to douse it in oil, but it is a good idea to put a bit on. Go ahead and stretch it over, just like that. Make sure it's in the right groove. You can go ahead and put this cap back on with the eight millimeter bolts. So the torque spec is about eight or nine foot pounds of torque, but I am going to freehand it because that's very light and you get a much better feel for the torque itself with your hand. So I'm just going to tighten it by hand.
All right, tightening up. Just feel with your hand. There are torque figures again, but I mean, this is too small. It's it's too low to really warrant needing it. So I think it's fine just like this. I'm going to go ahead and move over to the other side now. Okay, the new drain plug that the kit brings here is KTM Husqvarna and gas gas part. I'm gonna open this up. There we go. Much like the other side, I'm gonna grab a little bit of oil and put it on the O-ring so that when I tighten it, it can be tightened smoothly and prevents any damage to the O-ring. All right, there we go, I'm gonna put that aside. I'm gonna grab the new screen, which seems to have been opened already. No worries. Open it up, grab it. And there is an O-ring here. I was looking for an O-ring, so a bit more oil and on the O-ring it goes. So now you're gonna grab the screen and you're going to grab it by this little tab right here. And all you're gonna do literally is just push it right in. And push it until it clicks, find the right orientation. There we go, there is a specific orientation. Push it in, there, they clicked. Grab your new drain plug and put it on. And not unlike the other ones, this has a torque figure. It's kind of freehanded. There we go. Seems good to me. So I think now with the main drain plug done, the new screen done, the new strainer done, and the new oil filter in, all tightened and ready to go, it's time to put in the oil. So let's grab the oil. I will be using a Motor X 4T. 15W50, this is what KTM recommends, and obviously MotorX. So the bike needs 1.6 liters of oil, and for some reason the MotorX only says deciliters and ounces. So moving the period over one, the decimal over one, we get 16 deciliters. So we're gonna go through an entire one of these and uh, three-fifths of that one. Nope, yes, three-fifths of that one. Can't do the math. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna use an entire one and a little under sorry a little over half of a second one So let's move over to that side and start filling it up. All right now We can go ahead and begin the filling process. I'm gonna get my really long funnel out I don't know why I just like it. Like I said it needs 16 deciliters So we have 10 deciliters in this. It's a really weird system these There we go and we can Loosen it up. Let's fill it up. So for this one, since we only need 16 deciliters, I only have to put six deciliters. I'm gonna measure it, make sure that there's at most four remaining. All right, perfect action. I'm gonna let it drip in whatever else it needs to drip in. Then we can tighten it up and put the belly pan back on and we're done. I recommend grabbing a rag just in case. Anything spills when you pull out the funnel. Well, we're done. That's 16 deciliters in there. A really weird unit of measurement. I really don't know why they use deciliters instead of quarts. Um, but now we can grab this and tighten it up. I like using an adjustable wrench to tighten it just a little bit. Well, we're done. All that's left is the belly pan. But with the actual oil, we're done. All right guys, so it looks like we're done. This was a really easy, easy job actually, much easier than I expected. We've done everything we need to. The belly pan is back on, everything is tightened. Uh, like I've said, there are torque figures, but for things so small, for things so light, I really don't think it matters all that much. So just hand tighten everything and everything is ready. The bike is ready and actually, if we take a look at this, you see the exhaust is missing. Something special is uh, coming. Sooner or later, I'll make a video about that. But for now, what well, we're focusing on, the oil. The oil is done, it's ready. Uh, I've turned the bike on, I've let it run a little, and everything seems just fine. So uh, again, guys, I just wanna thank you all so much for watching, and maybe if you needed help, maybe this video helped you. If not, maybe you're watching for fun, who knows? But thank you guys so much for watching. Take care.